Hello and welcome to this video about the risk assessment for food fraud. Please keep in mind that the scenarios shown in this video are only examples to illustrate the general approach or standard procedure. Solutions and necessary measures may vary on a case-by-case -case basis. Global gap standards relating to food, such as Integrated Farm Assurance for Aquaculture, IFA for Fruit and Vegetables, Crops for Processing, and Produce Handling Assurance, call for a food fraud risk assessment. Food fraud means that food entering the supply chain has incorrect identification information, ingredient labels, or marketing specifications for an economic gain. Some examples of food fraud include labeling fruit that was grown using conventional methods as organic, or receiving packaging materials that are sold as food grade but aren't. Another example of food fraud is the marketing of products as not being genetically modified organisms or GMOs when they are actually genetically modified. This includes products that are inappropriately mixed and sold under a specific claim. Food fraud might also include incorrectly labeling a product as a variety with a higher market value. Within a specific variety, a product may be mislabeled as having a higher graded value than it truly does. The packaging material or invoices may state that the product has achieved a higher grade and quality than what is actually being sold. In the aquaculture industry, food fraud might include mislabeling farmed products as wild-caught fish. Developing a risk assessment for food fraud involves the same steps as discussed in prior videos. The hazards are identified, and the likelihood and severity of their occurrence are determined. Mitigation strategies can then be developed, which may include maintaining careful traceability and mass balance in the operation. Proper quality control checks and the documentation of the results of the checks are key steps to ensuring food fraud doesn't occur in an operation. If an operation does not grow varieties that are organic, GMO, etc., there may not be a risk of mixing. Careful controls and documentation are important to ensure food fraud does not occur. Operations should have safeguards against any potential food fraud risks. You can find additional resources in the video description. We hope you learned more about the risk assessment for food fraud. Thank you for watching.